Greeting. Welcome back to my channel, Ham Radio Test and Review. My name is Dave. My call sign is N8DAV with my name and my call sign. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to download and uh, update the firmware on your iRadio UV98. Now, this will not apply to the Radtel RT880 since uh, they, Radtel supports all their own uh, radios that they sell on their website. Just be aware that the Radtel firmware and the CPS software uh, that has been released as of today, which is uh, April 23rd, um, does work for with the iRadio UV98. However, they have decided to password protect all of their software uh, uh, and firmware uh, downloads. So if you do try to use their stuff, it, you won't be able to do it because uh, you're going to need a password to unlock everything. Now, if you know what the password is, you can go ahead and do that. But um, there may be come a time where their firmware and their software uh, do not uh, work with the um, iRadio UV98. So just be aware of that. Um, I suggest you stick with the iRadio uh, supported uh, software and firmware. So let's get down to the brass tacks. Today I'm going to update the firmware. So you go from and the uh, the uh, website is questionzebrairadio.com slash home. That's qziradio.com slash home. You go to download software and the first thing you're going to come to is Chinese CPS.zip and upgrade tool Chinese.zip. These two do not apply to the UV98. These two do. The upgrade tool is the one you want for firmware. You click it and you enter in the 6918 code. It'll be different, of course, for your particular instance. All right, so we can get the upgrade tool. Click it. I guess it didn't take. All right, it's now downloading. As you can see, my computer is scanning okay it's done i actually did it twice it did take it the first time all right and and we'll come here and you'll see that this is in the uh, download package in the zip file we'll extract it I'll extract it to downloads UV98. All right, here we go. So here's the application. Click more info, you tell it to run anyway. Okay, so here is the program, and I will get back to you in just a second with the cable attached. Okay, here's the firmware update program. You follow the instructions to a T. You connect the data cable, which I did, and that's a programming cable, not a charging cable. Remember that. You select the port right here, COM3 for me. All right, you press and hold the PTT key and then turn on the radio, which I'm going to do. All right, and the screen is white when that happens. And then you click the Update button. And then you'll see at the bottom, right down here, it starts to update the radio. And I know this is a little slow and it's a little boring, but, uh, you know, you have to see how everything works. While you're doing this, not only is the screen white, but the uh, transmit receive light and charging light on the radio is green. It glows green when this happens. And uh, we're getting pretty close to the end here. 
Okay, it says completed. The radio is now rebooting. Channel mode. Seven, All right. Nine. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit the menu Basic button. Settings. And we're going to go to version. And you'll see it's a UV radio, version 1.05 from uh, uh, February 14th, 2025. If you put the Radtel version in, the latest version is 106A. It'll also say it's a Radtel radio and not a UV radio. All right. So that's how you update the firmware in your UV98i radio. And this is Dave uh, with Ham Radio Test and Review. One test is worth a thousand expert opinions saying so long and 73s.